I'm sorry to be that guy, <laughs> but I don't care for this movie at all. Mm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Chatterbox Extra, where we are doing a trailer reaction. And I'm here with the guys. Introducing Sean. Yo. P. Michael. What's up? Yeah, yeah. And ladies love Andre. And we are doing a trailer reaction to Army of the Dead. Mm. We've already done a teaser reaction so we're just gonna get into it Zach, directed by Zack Snyder starring Batista yeah let's just let's have a look man ready ready let's do it Mr. Ward how would you like to make 50 million dollars on a warm yeah. summer's eve on a train bound for nowhere Met up with a gambler. We were both too tired to sleep, so we took turns of staring out the window at the darkness. The boredom overtook us, and he began to speak. He said, "Son, I've made a life out of reading people's faces." Think about it. Everything we did, all those people we saved. The way they held their eyes. Look what it does. So if you don't mind my saying, oh, what if? I can see you're out of base. What if just once we did something just for us? You ready to play? There's $200 million in the vault beneath the strip. With a 32 hour window to get it out, find the safe. This should be a simple in and out. It's not too late to go back. What's simple about this? <laughs> what the? No. They're not what you think she they was are. trying to do the Beyonce who run the world with her. <laughs> Wait. Oh? Okay. Different kind of zombies, eh? I'm gonna try something. Yeah, yeah. Tiger. That's crossing the line. Oh, Zack Snyder. <laughs> oh, Zack. Oh, Zacky Zack. You know, you know he has his style, man. I I do like his style. Like I know he has a lot of critics and stuff like that. And and fair enough, actually, because. Some of his movies are, mm. but I do like his style. Like I, I've liked Watchmen. I like I like the style of it. I mean, not the, maybe the story itself, but like mm. I like his directing style. And that's that looks very stylish. Action has Batista. Like it's, it's a simple movie for me, and it's a simple movie that I can enjoy. So I like the look of it. I thought it was good. It's got um, actors that I like already in it. Uh, Mari Hardwick, I think. Yes, yeah, that was him. Yeah, um, yeah, from Power. Obviously, got Baptista um, in it as well. Um, yeah, it looks interesting. Like you lot said there, whilst the trailer was playing, um, you've got zombies that look like they've got some next level um, like agility and, <laughs> and like they, they, their brains actually functioning. They're not just walking around like trying to eat people's um, guts or whatever. So that was a little bit different, but um, it still looked good. I like the fact that with the story, um, it starts off with him sending them on a mission to go and get some money. So obviously they're thinking like, you know, ching, ching, they're going to be getting some money. So they're going to put their life at risk um, with um, brain-eating, guts-eating zombies. So 
Zack Snyder hasn't really done anything that I haven't really enjoyed. I'm a big fan of his. I've liked him from 300 and even before then. So even if he even if he didn't show me as much as he had shown me, if I just seen the teaser, I would have watched it. Even if I didn't like the teaser or didn't even like the trailer, I'd still have watched it because I'm a big fan of the director. There's a lot of actors in there that I really like, like the guy from Power. So um, and I like his role um, usually in film. So from what I saw, it looks quite expensive looks like a lot of money's gone in there the action scenes look fantastic and um, the cinematography looks great and um, the special effects look like and um, what they spent in Bahu Bali one and two combined and um, so this is fantastic and I think it will be a big hit for Netflix and they should they should hold on to Zack Snyder and make sure that he does a few more I'm sorry to be that guy <laughs> but I don't care for this movie at all. Mm. I'm so sorry. I don't care. Do you know why I don't care? The reason why I don't care is because I love Zack Snyder. I loved 300 and I loved Watchmen. Watchmen took me a while because the first time I watched it, I didn't really get it. So I was just like, eh. And then I watched it again and I was like, actually, artistically, this is great and your characters are great. It feels like it's supposed to be a blockbuster film. It feels like it's supposed to be Zack Snyder's version of showing everyone what he would have done with Suicide Squad and how he would have made it better. I wouldn't go to the cinema to see this. I would see this with a bunch of my friends while we was drinking to have laughs because we would probably be waiting for all the zombie scenes and see the most atrocious zombie get like kicked up by someone. We'd be waiting for that action. But I don't think I would put this on to watch because you guys were like, oh, have you guys seen Army? No, I probably would not watch this. Um, any movie that I feel like it takes itself too seriously when the content of it's quite basic I always feel like it's just moment, it's going to fail. Skull Island even. Like, it's a movie it. about a giant ape. Don't take it too seriously, guys. But they were like, you yeah, know, the plans and, you know, this person, uh, we, we're going to have um, people from the Marvel movies because everybody loves them and we're going to give them very good roles. Shut up. You get into an island and there's a giant monkey and he's going to beat up things. Stop trying to make it convoluted. This film is about a place where there is a million zombies and they're like setting up and like, I am... Um, very expensive Japanese man and I have money and I'm going to sit. stop trying to set up a plot. We don't care for that. Like, what are you doing? I don't understand. So that's my stance on it. I will say, the second thing I will say is um, Dave Bautista, either he actually is a really good actor or his team is brilliant because out of the wrestlers that have come out and started to act, um, his roles are very well picked for him. Every time I see him on screen, I don't think he's trying it. Unfortunately, I think John Cena's trying it. Certain times John Cena's on there and I'm just like, did you have to be in the movie? Did we have to have a John Cena? But every single time I see Dave Bautista in movies, I'm talking mm -hmm. Hotel Artemis. He played his role. Oh, yeah, it yeah. was the role that we wanted him to play. He played it, he didn't play too much. We didn't think that's awkward. Why is he doing that? I accepted him in his role. Watching this trailer, I accept him in this role. I accept him as the lead character in this role. He plays it cool. He plays it calm. But I believe that we're seeing the movie through a Dave Bautista character's eyes. And I believe that character. I believe he's a, um, a big, strong guy with a big heart who loves his family. And that was what I kind of felt like I was getting through that. And it worked. Guardians of the Galaxy, he plays Drax really well. Like, you, he plays it to the point where you're like, who else could play Drax like that? So I think Dave Bautista's picking his roles very well. And this will be good for him because he's leading the movie. Um, but I don't care for it. I'll be, <laughs> mm. I'll be real. I'll watch it with you guys, but I'm not watching mm. this on my own as homework. Nah. No, nah. no, that, that, that makes sense. The only thing I will say, though, in terms of, I don't think they're taking it very seriously at all, to be honest. Like, I didn't get that feeling when I was watching the trailer that they were taking it's it more of, Do you know what? It was more of a plot set up that I was just like, guys, come on. I mean, obviously they're not taking it too seriously because they gave us a zombie tiger and that was just like, okay. Yeah, and then like, exactly. all the guns and fire, I don't think they're taking it seriously. But I get Did the you point. One of the guys yeah. holding the gun and I was wondering if he even knew what he was doing with the gun. He was like, he was just like, <laughs> what? Well, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, the Meg, um, like we're talking about King, you know, King Kong versus Godzilla, Shark, yeah. um, Sharknadoes, all of this stuff. But then you're going, 
we're going to throw a really artistic director at it, Zack Snyder. It's still Sharknado. It doesn't matter if Quentin Tarantino made it or not. You've still got a movie about a tornado full of sharks. Mm. It doesn't matter that Quentin Tarantino did. It doesn't matter if, mm. if the movie starts with a, a Martin Luther King quote and it's motivational. It's a tornado with sharks in it. Guys. But Zack Snyder doesn't make deep movies. He's not making deep movies. He never has, never will. He's just I mean, making big what, action what, movies. I feel like 300... Watchmen is already there for him just to direct. True. But I feel like 300 and Watchmen did make you think. It took you in. You know, you thought about these characters. You thought about... I don't think 300 was just... You had to think about the spot. I don't think it was just mindless. Nah. Come on. You didn't put yourself... In, you didn't put yourself in a Spartan mood? You, it didn't take you over? Nah? Nah? You didn't, think you, you didn't think what would it be like in those times? You was just like... Oh, just good action. Just, good action. You, Watchmen. You know, Watchmen, yeah. Yeah. But that was already there. Yeah, that was already so involved. Yeah, so yeah, I wouldn't yeah. give Zack Snyder just directing it and making it his vision and stuff like okay, that. Okay, so when you got the trailer of 300 and you knew you was watching it in the cinema and you knew you was going to the cinema to watch that, do you feel you have the same excitement, even though you know this is on Netflix, let's pretend it's not on Netflix, let's pretend this is a trailer for something coming out to the cinema, would you want to watch this on the big screen? I can't pretend because I know it's already Netflix. I just know it. It's in there already. Yeah, true. Okay, so, I get yeah, I just can't do yeah, that. Yeah, I get that. Okay, yeah, that. it seems like Netflix. It seems yeah. right for Netflix. Yes, yes, it does seem right for Netflix. Just, this is comfort for me. This is comfort of your home watching. I don't think this is a kind of like let's all get together and watch this film. I I, 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 I don't feel like that for Army of Dead. PlayStation game, The Last of Us. The um, Last of Us. After, yeah, yeah. after playing The Last of Us, zombie movies don't compete. Like it, like that should have been the movie. That worked for me. They did that. They incorporated that and that worked for me. That's how I saw a zombie movie work. Uh, 28 Days Later, that was a zombie movie and it worked for me. You know, when it's the zombie apocalypse movies, I always just think of the funny fantasy that me and my friends have where we always go, what would you do in a, in, in a zombie apocalypse? And I always go, two samurai swords, 100, on fire, and just go at them. <laughs> like To me, it sounds like a joke scenario that I have with my boys. So then to... Tell me that I'm going to be watching 90 minutes of that. I'm going to be like, it has all the celebrities I like, but I really don't care. <laughs> like, don't mm. care. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, we have been talking about a zombie movie for way too long. Way too long. Trailer. So let's just wrap this up. <laughs> guys, what do you think? Are you <laughs> excited about this movie coming out on Netflix? Let us know. Comment, like, subscribe. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so this has been our reaction to Army of the Dead. We'll see you very soon.